Good morning, good morning. This is Jilly Cube from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Um, going to, I'm just doing a test pour for some colours and I'm going to um, use this little canvas which is a 25 by 20, I believe. Um, so just going to test it on this with some colours so I might get two tests two canvases in one not sure we'll see we'll see how we go uh, I've got my little fur babies around my feet so I have to be careful not to tread on one of them and um, I'll give it a go anyway so I am using the Montmartre Studio Acrylics mixed with my um, 70-30 mix the pouring medium recipe and how I do it uh, is in the description block box below this video um, the only thing I've mixed up the paints a little bit thinner and added a bit of water so I want to see what a thinner mix does and I'm going to use my little oh where is she this little beauty uh, the little Okay, my little mini blower, little mini blower. So I'm just going to look for the, did have a little cap on it, which I can't find right now. That, oh, there we go. Just had this little, so I'll try it with the little um, head on it, little blow head, and I'll try it without. And this is a USB port, so it fits in where I've got my camera in at the moment. So once we're at that stage, I'll put it in. I just wanted to test this blowing out um, of the can, you know, blowing out the paint on a kind of a Dutch pour, I think it, it will be. So first of all, I'm just gonna do the, uh, this is like a pale gray. I made this paint out of white and um, and then just a tiny bit of blob of blue and a blob of black so it's sort of a pale grey we'll see how it goes so just spreading it around the canvas I think that most people that do Dutch pours not the <laughs> too busy um, watch that many but I know that they tilted around off the canvas I believe so I'd love to watch more, but um, too busy, too busy, but I will get round to it, I'm sure. So just put that coat on there and I'm going to try some of these colours. This is kind of like a, it was made, I made a custom colour and it was out of the blue and I think I added a bit of grey in it. Um, and I want to go to something bright, so the lemon. So just testing these colours out, they work for me. See how we go. And then that's the real sort of um, buttercup yellow. These were paints that I custom made up just by fiddling around with the colours. Um, so I'm not sure how they're going to go on this. And this was, of course, the berry, which was the Montmartre magenta. And I just put a nice big blob of black in it. So it sent it very dark. And then this is the magenta. Uh, is it the magenta? Or is it the pink? I'll have to double check that one but these are all made up very runny to what I would normally make up very runny don't normally make them that that um, runny so have a little bit more of my grey and I'm gonna as I said use the little mini blower to see if I can get good results with my mini blower
If this turns any good, turns out real well, I will send this down to my do uh, granddaughter in Sydney. So I'm gonna just plug this in into a USB port, which I just have right here, which is very good. Oh. So I hope you guys have all been going well and coping well with the isolation because I know some countries are far worse than others and you're not some places they're not letting people out at all and other places they are so we're very lucky in Australia is that they've relaxed restrictions a bit so without further ado let's see what it does with the with the actual nozzle on it Try and blow some of the. Ooh. Okay, let's give this a go. I think this one I actually like. <laughs> so now I'm wishing I did it on a bigger canvas. Oh my goodness. The lacing. That is. Put some more colour under there. Oh wow. Okay. I Where's my blooming on off? Flipping, flipping floppers switch the on off switch i know what i didn't do i didn't give it a bit of heat did i but that's got some lovely lacing in there oh okay let me give it a little bit of a heat wand i think that i should have put the heat wand over it before i give it the blow but that is really lovely maybe i'll try and blow it out a bit more with that That's interesting. Uh, I think because that paint did have silicone in it and I'm getting the silicone cells. The colors are nice. Okay, that's interesting. That did have silicone and I've been told that no, no, you don't need silicone. So we might pop that one over there. I don't know if I've got enough paint to go for number two, but let's give it a try. Might do this one different. But that's quite, I mean, it's quite pretty, but it isn't like anything like the traditional kind of, because it's got the silicone cells in it, and obviously it's a lot nicer without silicone. Okay. I have a new puppy, can you believe? Because um, I don't know if you guys remember that I had my, um, he was a party poodle, Gus, uh, die of an autoimmune disease before Christmas. And my Bindi, my Australian shepherd who absolutely adored Gus, was heartbroken and she wouldn't accept any dogs around her she was like quite vicious to any other dogs even when my son first bought his little Havanese Lola um, she didn't want a bar of Lola either but uh, after several months of being without Gus she accepted Lola and is great friends with Lola when she well my son lives on a on this property too and um, but my son and his partner tell me or told us that they were going to be leaving to get a bigger property, which is fair enough. So my husband said, they'll be taking Lola and uh, Bindi will be heartbroken again. 
sorry I'm going off tether I'm going to do this little cup uh, pour and drag along this one and then I may blow it out getting back to the story so that's the bright yellow this is the magenta so yes um, he was you know he he was said he was concerned that my um, Australian Shepherd will again go into depression without little Lola here so he decided to organize and get this um, other puppy for us so it's only day two and he's behaving really well which is <laughs> as you know a blessing that is right under my feet here asleep at my feet so obviously because he's missing his mama um, he's just sticking to us like glue and I haven't been able to do much today because I haven't wanted to leave him alone but um, my, my Australian Shepherd she loves him and she's actually mothering him a little bit too much so uh, as soon as he grows to hold his own things will be good okay same colors again I'm gonna flip it and drag it oh my gosh okay I might I might do this or the rest of that oh, I haven't got much in there anyway I was gonna pour this around it but I haven't really got much and remember this is very th I thinned out the paints to try thinner mix Ooh, wowzers, wowzers, trousers. Must admit that real buttercup yellow I made with the yellow and orange has turned out some. is lovely with that uh, berry licious that I make. Oh my goodness, that's pretty colours. Ooh, that's nice. Wow, there you go. Two different looks, aren't they? But I may very well. Where's my little straw blower? Where's it gone? I'll tell you, I put them down. And I'm, whether it's the husband or my boys, when they visit, they come in to the IGA, Independent Jewel Association store, and they nick my things. And I can't find my straw that I always blow with. All oh, then naughty. Okay, I'll try blowing with these. I just wanted to blow out, but look at those cells. Oh, that's beauty. That's actually lovely as it is, isn't it? Maybe I shouldn't do anything except just a little blow. There. Okay, I'll give it a bit of heat. Get rid of the air bubbles. And I will get my little skewer. Let's see if I can do some squiggling. So this is not the pointy end of the skewer, it's the flatter end, so just it's doing some little embellishments. I see I'm not using the balloon to embellish. You all know how I love my balloon. Just love it. Ooh, that is quite nice. See, I was thinking of doing a real big one with those colours. And this berry, I, it looks brown as you're looking at here, but it will dry that real, well, as you can see where it's, it's a real berry. 
I'm uh, not too happy with this. I've got a bit of a gap in the canvas. So I suppose I could do some embellishing with, um, where's my stick, stick thing. So I've got like just chopstick. It's just a chopstick and it's a bamboo chopstick. And you, you can use it to dip in your paint. So you dip in your paint and you can sort of, oh, there's a bit too much there, embellish. Doesn't look like nothing when you do this. And then you just can, can, can. Noodle, as Kathleen Osmore would say, it's noodling. I was calling it Mr. Wiggle. It's wiggling, but noodling sounds nicer. Well, there's two different uh, styles of painting uh, with the same colours in, completely different results. It's interesting, I can keep playing with these and noodling and beautiful. So get yourself some little, um, either Chinese chopsticks the bamboo chopsticks uh, that's what these are they're a little bit thicker and I've got like if you want to do some like dot dot work on your painting they're good for that um, and they're only like a dollar a packet or you can get yourself a packet of the uh, their skewers that I would normally say put on the bar you know a skewer food with to go on the barbie on the barbie so there you go there's today's little demo what do you think they're a bit um yeah two different styles and um different outcomes so they were quick and easy uh, i used my little blower and my poor little puppy was on my feet can i say hello to everybody can you say hello to everybody no pick him up he's quite a big boy for a little puppy there you go can you see him i'll try and oh did I get, oh, I've got his paw in my, oh dear. We not, my husband wants to name him Bob, and I don't. I don't want to name him Bob. But anyway, I will try and show you a, I'll put a little video on after this of Bob and Bindi together. But he's got, now he's got nice white feet, so I have to go wash him off. And he's such a baby. Oh, my goodness. Very precious. Okay, thank you guys for joining me. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate you all. So until next time, paint together. Let me know if you've uh, done either of these and what outcome you got. And don't forget, we've got Australian Acrylic Pouring Group on Facebook for you guys. It's for you guys to paint your, paint your work, show your work. Oh my goodness, this puppy. Okay, until next time. So wait for the end and I will show you the finished results and I will hopefully have some photos of my baby. And if anybody can think of a far nicer name than Bob or Bobby, which my husband has chosen, said, oh, I like Bobby as a puppy and Bob when it's older. It's nice and easy. You are such a precious boy. Okay, bye for now, guys.